Hey everybody, MUHerd37 here. You know, I've gotten a lot of requests for a long time about FS passengers, and I've said forever I wasn't going to do it. Then about Christmas time, I finally said, all right, I'll go ahead and do FS passengers. You know, I'm like practically the only person on YouTube that does air haulers, so why not just do F FS passengers? I've been putting it off, but I figured, you know, what the heck, we'll go ahead and get uh, get going on that. I actually just tried it a couple minutes ago. Uh, I tried it with the A2A Cessna, and I kept it kept rolling over. I couldn't even hardly get it going. So we're going to the stock Cessna for a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. We're going to create our own company. Uh, here we go. I've got this mic right up close to my face, so it's kind of hard to type. There we go, YouTube Airlines. Uh, yeah, we can't get it. I can't get it to 2015. I don't know why, but 2010. Let's go. MU heard 37. All right, we'll just go for random. I don't really care about that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go custom setting. Uh, scenario, you can do stuff. I think like bush flying and stuff like that. That's not really what we want to do. Economic mode. If you check this, you will need to buy your aircraft prior to flying, which we want, and set the tickets uh, and service prices, which we want to do. You earn money for each flight. Uh, we don't want to start with seventy million. That's way too easy. I was thinking, I did, I kind of want to do the five hundred grand, just because it's really hard, and that's what guy like what I like to do. So career mode. We want to that to do that. Uh, we don't need to hear all about it, but you can look. How much flying time and everything you need to move up. It's going to take a while. Uh, instant record of flight. You can check this. Uh, the flight will be automatically registered at the end of the each flight, even if your pilot dies. This is harder but more challenging. And fixed uh, failure setting. Uh, easy to hard. And I actually want to move this down to like three. It's just how often do you really have problems, you know? In our company is created. Yeah, we'll create our new pilot. Emu heard 37. Uh, I don't know about birthday. I'm not going to put mine on there, but we'll go 25th of December. Player name. I don't know why. I'll just put Emu heard 37 for that as well. Yeah, great music they got, right? <laughs> you can go to setup, general setup, and all this stuff. Uh, I uh, didn't mess with too much of it. Uh, you can do your units and everything. 18,000 for the transition altitude. Like You can set different stuff for realistic. Uh, light penalty, like if you don't want to, you know, have to worry about the lights and stuff like that. There's just a whole bunch of stuff like that. All right, so I'll go ahead and close out of that. All right. Company manager, we, like, we have to buy our plane, so we're going to buy our current plane, which is the Cessna Skyhawk. We're at 243, so we can actually buy two of them if we had another pilot. So we'll go ahead and buy this one. Maintenance, pilots, that's me. Price settings. A good... Uh, let's might as well raise this if it's going to be low. Six ten. Actually, let's make that six twenty. We need some freaking money here. Actually, let's make it six fifty. We need every penny we can get. Uh, if that's low, let's go five hundred on that. And three hundred is too low. Three fifty. Economy. Four dollars for a drink, which is normal. Three. For a sandwich. You know what? Uh, I was going to put it 350. Alright, 320. 4. 10. <laughs> uh, 8. Let's see if this is low. Can we go 1250? Yeah. Product quality. I mean, I don't want it to be bad quality because the down upon me, but alright, 40%, so that's the lowest good we can get. 
go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to unpause this. FS passengers. All right, we're going to start flight load current aircraft. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't grab this earlier. Yeah, I don't know why that is doing that. So control period. That'll give that to me. All right, so start our flight. As you can see, we only got two passengers. We can only hold three, but we only got two anyway. Wish, why can't we get you know one more person? We could really use the money. It's down to fifty percent uh, for each tank. Set type. We're normal flight. Uh, you can do other stuff like flight tour. Uh, this is like if you're just touring around for people. Uh, you got to stay up for a certain long time. An aerobatic session, which you're trying to. You know what the aerobatic is. So we're going to go with that. I think tonight. Normal flight. Set destination. KCR. Whoops. Did I get that? RW. That is Jaeger. We're doing a really short flight. Huntington. Set. Huntington, West Virginia. Charleston, West Virginia. Really short. And here's one thing I. The longest time I couldn't figure this out today, why my passengers weren't loaded, it's because you got to load them right here. So there's our two passengers. Well, let's give them some luggage. Looks like they got 100 pounds of luggage with them. Uh, there we go, 100. And let's go ahead and load them. Engine instrument, check flight control. You can check see the passengers list if you want. Check thrust lever, check flat. All right, so we got our two people. As it said, uh, it was loaded. The passengers were loaded. All right. So we're going to get screwed with the lights if we don't... you got to have the lights right. So beacon needs to be on. Nav needs to be on. Now, let's talk to ETC because we will use it. Get our GPS set up. Man, I haven't used this stuff in forever. Been in the jet so long, I almost forget how to use it. All right, uh, switch this over to GPS. I do remember that. Five thousand. So we might as well move that up. Five thousand six hundred feet a minute. Contact ground. So I guess we're gonna have to push back. All right, acknowledge the taxi clearance. Uh, they can put their seatbelts on. Got to remember that. Turn on our progressive taxi. I believe it is out to our right. Yeah. Turn off the parking brake. Was it shift P for the pushback? Yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez. It's been forever since we've been on the Skyhawk. Took me forever to get out of it when I was an air hauler. I think it's going to take a while to get out of it here, too. I don't know. We'll have to look at some other planes. Like a caravan would be sweet. You can get, what, maybe like 10 people in that or something? I'm not sure. All right, we'll stop right here. Oh, you got to do shift P again. Apparently, here we go. Oops, it's uh, I accidentally turned them all off. Uh, beacon, nav, and let's go with the taxi. 
Notice the pastures are still 100%. I think that's like probably the most important part. I don't want to jerk them around too much or anything. Although, I mean, it isn't a Cessna. It's going to be bumpier, you know, than a freaking jumbo jet. I hope I don't. I hope it like takes that into account that we are in fact not. It's not going to be the smoothest thing ever, and I am I'm totally off our taxi line because I'm looking at other stuff. All right, taxi out to the runway. Whoa! I see like stuff like that. I'm afraid. Trying to look at our fuel. There it is. Just clear to the left. There it is. I wanted to see if it like adjusted our fuel to 50%, and it, and it did. Sorry, I'm getting a little... <laughs> getting a little off-center and everything. But now we're good. But yeah, I, this is like the third time I've tried this. I tried it earlier. I could not get the passengers to load, and I, I didn't know you had to load them in that panel. So that was the freaking problem. Uh, then I tried it with the A2A, and every time they would, it would load the passengers, the plane would tip over, and it would kill everybody. And I was like, "Well, that sucks. If the passengers are dead, and I'm dead. That really sucks." Now, kind of frowned upon, I think, <laughs> make our company look bad. Uh, that I finally did get it to where it didn't. But when we make this, just the tiniest little turn on the taxi, the one time it, it tipped over again and killed us all again. So I don't know what the heck was going on with that thing. But I did want to play it because, I mean, it's a third-party airplane. It's a lot better than the default Cessna, but, you know, if you can't get it to work, you can't get it to work, you know? So we'll give this a try. Hopefully everyone likes it. Uh, everyone has been requesting FS passengers, so I thought, why not? I think some other people have tried FS Passengers and have never really gotten anywhere. They quit after a couple of episodes or something, so... Who knows, maybe maybe we'll do it for a while, maybe not. I've got Around the World, I need to pick that up. I haven't done that in forever, so that needs to be done as well. Got a lot of stuff, got a lot of stuff to do in, for college right now, too. Alright. Just don't get on the runway because you will get docked for that for not having your lights on. That's what that realistic light thing, which I kept. All right, so we'll stop here. Talk to the tower. Request our clearance. Alright, so we've got to turn our strobe and landing lights on. By the way, you have to do the flaps as well, or they, or they will dock you for that, apparently. We need to trim our aircraft. Alright. Again, I have totally lost the freaking taxi lines. I've got to get us out doing other stuff. All right. Let me bring up our GPS real quick so I don't have to try and do that while we're flying. All right, let's take off. Bouncing down the runway. All right. Well, they're still 100%. They're not too mad at me now. Yet. <laughs> Man, I, 
I almost forget how to fly a small plane like this. I left the taxi light on. I don't know if you're technically supposed to or not. But uh, I think we can go ahead and get rid of our flaps. It says they're 100%. Let's keep it that way. Ah, oh, you can't see them. They don't really exist. I don't really gain any freaking altitude. Got it set for 5,000. I think I was. There we go. Like, man, where are these people going to contact me? So we can make our turn. Really should have done it VFR instead of IFR. Climbing a little high. Dropping his speed. Really? Already? Said one zero five. I'm gonna have to take the shakes off this thing real quick. One zero five. All right, autopilot heading altitude. Turn the shakes back on. Three. One three zero man with these shakes. Turn right heading one three zero Lima November three two nine. I wish we could just, you know, go with the GPS now. You said did say zoom home navigation. Well, one thing, ILS runway five, we gotta check that out. Let's go to the map. Sheep warp not allowed. I'm not doing that. I'm not cheating. Stop accusing me of cheating. Uh, one ten point three. Gotta gotta remember how to do this. Where's Nav one? One ten point three. I think this is how you do it. I it's so been so long. One ten point three. Here we go. One ten point three. Lima November three two nine. Turn left heading one zero five. One zero five. Left heading one zero five. Lima November three two nine. So I'll leave the shakes off until we land. It's kind of frustrating to go back and forth. We have gone nowhere. We are still over Tri-State Airport. Oh, we are slow. Man, going from flying the huge jets and air hauler to this. But I do believe we can still speed it up. So let's try that. I 
And I'm pretty sure it did say we, we can use acceleration. As you can see, it's still 44 miles out, a half hour to get there. We're almost to 5,000 feet. It'll help our slowing down so much. There we go. Oh man, we are in the... Cannot see anything. We are at 5,000. I don't know what it's talking about. I don't think this is any of us. Alright. Only 16 minutes now. Is this what, 4 minutes uh, at this acceleration? Oh, finally getting through some clouds. I'm glad they told us 5,000 feet because originally I was going to go 8,000 feet, but uh, eh. They tell me 5,000, I'll, I'll take that. Let's see if I can figure that. I almost forget how to use this thing. Yeah, see, we're. we're it's so close, but that's what I wanted for the first flight, you know? There's 10 miles, uh, there's 15, and there's 20. It's so runway 5. Sweet. So we should go, have to go a little to the right, probably. Yeah. Just going like that. I wish it would uh, come over and talk to us. Seems like, well, I guess we're 27 miles out, so technically not that bad. See if I can remember how to land this thing. At least they're still at a hundred percent. I don't know if you can take they can take their seatbelts off. Uh, I wouldn't. I mean, you're in Cessna, you can get knocked around. But it did say something about it. if you don't tell them to take it off, they'll be wondering why they can't. But I think that might have been for you know a bigger plane. It seems like in a Cessna, you should probably just leave it on. Small plane, you can get turbulence and everything. Get knocked around. All right, let's slow this down. All right, twenty six hundred. Can barely read it. So you all probably can't read it at all. Just remember to watch the speed. Just think if you overspeed, they'll ding you on that. It's kind of weird how the passengers would ding you on that kind of stuff. Like, do they know what lights are supposed to be on, really? Procedures. S five Charleston approach beach November one one eight eight Foxtrot with you. Beach November one one eight eight Foxtrot Charleston approach. Can't remember how you change this thing. There you go, activate approach. There you go. Although we're not using that obviously, but just so we could know how to set it up. All right, 4,300 feet, we're getting into the, just about to the yellow in our speed. Slow her down a little bit. Let 
guess they actually do have us almost straight on it. 145 Whoa, that's a big bank. Let's speed up our descent a little bit. Although we're not really that low. They said, what, 2600 per altitude? Anyone cold? It is cold out there. I can't I can't remember where the heater is. Well it may not work in this plane. It did in the A two A. There it is. Uh it's not yeah, it doesn't actually work. Pilot heat works. Turn that on. Alright, put our GPS back on there. Should be about uh, ready to turn to the airport finally. We're at our 2600 feet. Kind of, my first thought on the first flight was like, let's go to Myrtle Beach. But then I was like, wait, in a Cessna? No, <laughs> we're not going to Huntington to Myrtle Beach in a Cessna. That will take forever. But like if we were in a caravan or something, I would really like to buy a caravan. I'm not. I just. I'm not too sure about how much money we've got, but that would seem like we could make a ton more money. Like I was going to try a C90B earlier, but wait. I'm a little closer. Uh, I'll finish when he's done talking. I still don't see the airport. Uh, but uh, I was trying the C90B earlier. I don't think we'd actually be able to fly that because it is a twin prop. So I, I think we're limited to single engine. Uh, but it had, I think well, I'm wanting to say 13 seats, but it would only give me like 7 passengers as well. So... But I think we might be able to fly a caravan. I don't. I don't know about the weights on it. I think it said we were limited to like three thousand something. That's not it, is it? It's over to our left, but I don't see anything. Switch this over to GPS anyway. Where is Nav? There we go. Charleston Tower, Pacifica, Channel 9 or 0, ready to go. Should 
should bring us in nicely. Is that a runway right now? Can't tell. So now it's off to the right now. Yeah, I just cannot see the airport. And we're not that far away. I'm not sure of the altitude of it either. We're not that high up. I don't want to switch it over to nav just yet. Although that should... Oh, here we go. We've got some lights right over here. Got to remember how to read that camera if that means we're high or low. We're probably, if anything, low, I would say. If these are our, if that's our lights, we are low, but I can't, I think I can't remember how to read uh, on the old school. But I do believe we're low, because that's got to be us right there. Yeah, we just can't see the freaking airport. Can't see the runways or anything. It is a fairly small airport. I've actually flown out of there before. Except I was really young. I think we flew out down to, like, Orlando or something. Down to freaking Disney World. <laughs> when I was real, real little. I think that's the only time I've ever been. They say it's a real hard airport to fly into because it's on the top of a hill and... The pilots basically have to slam it down on the on the. Like you come right over the uh, runway and then you gotta just like slam it. I should just manually fly it, but. All right. Good to hear, pal. Let's slow it down and get our flaps out. Oh, look at that guy. I love seeing other planes in the air. Alright, we're descending a little too quickly. Make it five. Just one notch of flaps. I, can't, I think we got three in this plane. Oh, you know what? I never hit the approach. That would have helped. Although we're not going to use it, but to land. Bring back the throttle just a little bit. And it's got us low. That's why. Had the nav off, I guess when we switched everything. Not sure of the altitude of the runway. We are falling a little too much. Can't remember if you're supposed to have the altitude clicked off or not. We are low. I think we're almost too low. Like, we're almost even with the freaking runway. <laughs> Alright, there we're on course. Another notch of flaps. Let's kill the autopilot. Fly her in manually. Of course. It's a Cessna. You can't auto land in a Cessna. You could. It wouldn't land it very well, but you could. Not very manly. <laughs> Not very manly at all. All right, we're too high. All right, we're full flaps now. So 
bring back on the throttle a little bit. We're going a little fast. If I screw up this landing, I just don't know what to do. Although it's not that easy after flying the triple seven and all that stuff for so long. There, we're on it. I've never been good at getting on the center marks. We could be... That part may not be so great. A little too low there. A little to the left. They didn't seem to mind anything. It seemed like we came down a little hard. Oh, she's feeling squirrely. All right. All right. Need to get my uh, lights off. They'll ding me, apparently. Strobe and landing off. I don't know if we should go to Gates or Park. It's kind of like with the air hauler. I never know which to go to. Alright. Just our progressive taxi. Yeah, it's kind of going to look ridiculous when we're pulling up to a gate with a little Cessna, but oh well. I'm not sure if you can go to parking with this. Uh, I don't know if they'll recognize it. I don't know if they'll recognize that you're there or whatever. They can unload. But hey, at least we completed a flight. It took me long enough to be able to do it. it took me like forever. I could not figure out how in the world to get them loaded. But we got it now. All right. Now, I don't know how to unload them. Will they unload automatically? I don't... It's one of the things I'm worried about. I don't know how to unload now. We've got, we know how to load them. I don't know how to unload them. All right. It still says that they're 100%. Almost there. It'll pull up a little more. All right, we'll stop her right here. Hit the parking brake. It won't let me grab it, so we'll do it that way. See, can we do the shut off here? Well, let me bring the. Yeah, oh well. Shut everything off. I don't know how to get that off. Oh, it was out. I just was looking at it for the wrong. All right, so uh, they're at a hundred percent. Let's figure out if we can do this in the flight. Uh, well, you can take your pet your seat belts off. FS passengers, how do we do it? In flight, unload aircraft. Mode realistic flight already registered. I think that's good. Number of passengers two. Uh, flight type normal. 
YouTube Airlines, Cessna Skyhawk, February 10th, 2015. See our takeoff, uh, de departure and arrival times. Flight distance only 44 nautical miles. Time airborne 31 minutes 46 seconds. Flight time block. I don't know what that all means. I'm not even sure if that means what the. If any of that is counting, what do you call it? Uh, the acceleration. Uh, okay, so it did, it did mess with the the price. I was gonna say why if they shouldn't give you a, you know, three hundred dollars for a two hour flight and the same amount for a twenty minute flight or whatever. Also, cargo income so ninety nine pounds. We definitely want to keep that. We keep getting money for it. And it was perfect. Well, you know, I mean. Of course it was perfect. You know who was flying? <laughs> Considering that the flight was perfect, the ticket's price is good. Passing around this flight. I uh, think that your company's reputation should be 100%. Well, thank you. Company's reputation now is 68.18. I think we just went up 0.18. No, it says uh, 3.18. That's nice. Oh, the, well, this is crap. 160 points, but we lost 30% because we used time acceleration. Well, I'm going to use... Pretty much on all of it because we we're recording this. I mean, in real life, yeah, I could do it, but I'm not gonna make you know if we do a five hour flight, I'm not gonna do a five hour YouTube video. You know what I mean? And a very nice landing, plus fifty, a perfect flight, no problems, and very satisfied passengers. One fifty, you landed at a scheduled airport, plus thirty. Well, that's always nice. <laughs> landed at the right airport. You should get credit for that. Actually, you should not get credit for that. All right. Well, everybody, I think that's like it. Let's look at our company manager. Uh, I wonder, no, okay, because you got. I was gonna say we can look at it as some aircraft, but uh, I, I wish we could look at some other planes. I thought we, I know we, I did that earlier. Bye, Reno. Her name's So. So we got 258 grand because I wanted to see what would a, a caravan would cost us, but I got that. I think you got to load it and do all that, and I'm not going to take the time to do that. I just wish uh, advanced more setups. I really don't want to mess with that. All right. Sorry about that. Then click down uh, to the freaking desktop. All right, so it uh, looks like that's about it. I don't see that we can do anything else. Well, that's episode one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more to come. Make sure to uh, comment, subscribe, thumbs up it, whatever you want to do. And I will catch you guys on the next flight.